Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ahmaduhu wa usalli ala rasulil kareem. Amma ba'd fa'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Today I want to talk about something that's very, very disturbing, very, very troubling. And I think uh, every Muslim should know about this. There's a very famous Islamic app. And it's not just about this Islamic app, but let me just get straight into it. You know the app that we all know about, we all have seen this app. It's called the Muslim Prayer app, Okay. Uh, the U.S. M military reportedly bought location data. So this is location data of who? This is location data of Muslims that pray. Okay, keep this in mind. Muslims that still go to prayer, even in COVID. Keep this in mind, because you'll see this. U.S. military reportedly bought location data mined from a popular Muslim prayer app to track users for counter-terrorism. Like as if terrorism is an issue anymore. Okay. The U.S. military purchases location data mined from seemingly ordinary apps on people's smartphones public procurement records show. One source of location data bought by military is Muslim Pro. If you have Muslim Pro or you know anybody who has Muslim Pro, uninstall this. I mean, this is completely not acceptable that, you know, that you are targeting Muslims that are interested in prayer. Okay, and then they're able to do so many things with this data. They're able to see how many people hear the adhan, how many people are going to prayers after hearing the adhan, where they're going to prayers after they hear the adhan. And then they're able to track this in regards to COVID. You'll just see exactly how this works. One source of data location bought uh, by military is Pro Muslim Pro, a prayer app, prayer app with more than 98 million downloads worldwide. Okay, if you have Muslim Pro installed, uninstall it today, uninstall it today. This is the beginning of this web, this the Jali web. And don't. it's not about having information about you. It's about having the information about the collective and what they can do about the collective, okay? This is tracking and data is the, is the new oil. Okay, it's the new oil in terms of revenue, okay? This is information about people where they go, where they like to be, how much time they spend at home, how much this time they spend outside the house, apps like Muslim Pro, as well as other apps for exercise, weather tracking, browsing Craigslist, sell people's location data to third-party brokers, which in turn sell the data to clients like the US military and military contractors. You should already be worried just by, you know, it's one thing if they sell your information to other marketing companies so they can market you, to you, which is bad enough. But if they're selling information about you and your brothers and your sisters to other military institutions, that is very alarming, okay? That is very, very alarming, okay? The U.S. has previously used location data harvested from smartphones in order to carry and carry out drone strikes, okay? Muslim Pro, a prayer app with over 98 million downloads, okay, reminds people about what? It's like the most harmless app in the world, but they're using this to what? To, it, it, it reminds users about the daily prayers and provides readings from the Quran. A company calls it the most popular Muslim app. Muslim Pro is one of hundreds of smartphone apps that make money by selling user. Now, I don't know if they did this intentionally. They did this unintentionally. You know, they were out. They knew that they're selling this and it can get in the hands of the military or they did this innocently. But either way, they need to come out with this statement. This company needs to, the Muslim Pro app, people need to come out with this statement saying that they're sorry, this will not happen again. And until then, Muslims need to make clear and uninstall their app, okay? It's easy to de-anonymize, de meaning even if they sell the app and they don't give specific names, it's easy to get the names after that. The new uh, illustrations of how government agencies can go to private data brokers to control, to collect granular information on individual movements, including U.S. citizens, okay? This, this Islamically is haram. It's haram. Al-Majalus, you, you are using, you are, you are selling something Islamic, and then you're making dunya in the back end. You're making dunya in the back end, and you are hurting your Muslim brothers and sisters by doing this by selling this, it is absolutely horrible, okay? It's absolutely, it's like in one strike, like hurting all the Muslims who care about Islam. 
Muslim Pearl sells location data to third-party brokers called Xmode. I'm going to tell you about Xmode in a second. According to Motherboard's report, Xmode is so, has sold location data to defense, meaning military people, according to its website, which in turn provide data to U.S. Department of Defense. Xmode told Motherboard that its business with military contractors is primarily focused on three cases, counterterrorism, which is basically Muslims, cybersecurity, predicting the future of COVID-19 hotspots, predicting, that means everyone, that means everyone, okay, every location, they're going to focus on where the mosques are, okay, it, uh, the, um, the U.S. Special Operations Command spent $90,000 in April to access location data provided by a firm called Babel Street, okay, we'll look at uh, Babel Street also, Okay, Babel Street sells a product called LocateX that allows people to select an area on a map and shows the movements of devices in that area according to motherboard. Okay, so now let me actually show you uh, what uh, goes on. Okay, let me actually like uh, show you inshallah what goes on here. Uh, you know, here is some information about this. Okay. Um, let me now show you. The app sends data to X mode, which I'm going to show you what they inc include. The app sending data to X mode include Muslim Pro. They should, if they're sending, if they're sending information constantly, they need to stop. And Muslims need to uninstall this app. And this needs to become a movement. And if Muslims don't have that much you know, for themselves, that they don't want other people to know. I mean, this is about knowing about where my children are, where my wives are, where my sisters are, where my parents are. It's unacceptable. It's un-Islamic. It is absolutely haram for somebody to sell information about Muslims, uh, especially in, in, in the collective. The app sending data, X mode include Muslim Pro, an app that reminds users when to pray and what direction Mecca is in relation to users' current location, it said. So it's very useful for them. Okay. Now, this is the world's uh, leading artificial enabled data to knowledge, okay? Now I'm gonna play this uh, for you. So you can see this, let me see if I have this uh, up here. So you can also hear this very quickly. So this is what they're about. My internet might be giving me issues. So I'm just going to stop this. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Okay. So, uh, are you? So this is the the ba Babel. Okay. Now you know what Babel, Babylon, right? I mean, this is the Babel Street, right? And this is their products. Uh, one of them is Babel X. Okay. And it's, 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 it's across languages, it's across just the whole world. Selling your information, this is what they're doing. They're collecting your information. And Muslim Pro should be ashamed of themselves to be part of such a, uh, such a haram act. This is worse than, this is, this is just as bad as it gets in terms of the, the, the extent, in terms of wala ul bara, in terms of, in terms of, um, in terms of uh, you know, honor of Muslims and dignity of the Muslims in terms of fidelity and friendship and protection of Muslims, this is as bad as it gets that you send, even if you didn't know it would end up in the hands of the military, just that you're selling data to third party, right? A app that is reminding, and then these third parties, what are they buying uh, data from Muslim Pro for? What, for, for these people that are interested in praying? Muslims need to unload this, unload this, get all 98 million people un uninstall this. This is what they deserve. This is what they deserve. And any and and somebody needs to make it their job to find out which one of these apps, how many other important apps are there that are selling information about us. This is all about control. This is all about control. So inshallah, I just want to end here for now. Uh, I might... Uh, yeah, so inshallah I will end here. Akul qawli hadha astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ad muslimina wal muslimat. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.